Hey, so I'm posting every single day until I make $100,000 online only using things like Amazon and YouTube. I've been posting a short every day, a short vertical video, and I've been posting it both on YouTube and on TikTok. And I can't say that it's always been received the best. Some days those videos only get a few views. Sometimes they get a few hundred views, sometimes in the tens. Of course, I would like to see them always in the thousands or even hundreds of thousands, but that just hasn't happened just yet. I'm okay with that. I was inspired to do this challenge by a person named Spencer Weber. He started a challenge on his YouTube channel in which he was posting every single day until he made $1,000 online. And then there was another YouTube channel. Her name is Virginia. Her channel is This Is Virginia Kerr. But I'm also inspired by her because she kickstarted her channel back up by posting a video every day for 21 days. And I'm inspired by both of these channels because it shows you that you don't have to have everything perfect in order to get started. You don't have to have everything perfect in order to set a goal and try to reach for it. If you have a financial goal or a YouTube channel goal, the best thing that you can do is to just get started. Figure out everything else as you go along. As I've been posting these YouTube shorts and TikTok videos every day, these channels have definitely been growing. As I've said before on this channel, the best thing that shorts can do for you is get subscribers. When I started this challenge, I think I had something around 300 subscribers. Now I have almost 600 subscribers, or at least approaching 600 subscribers. Shorts will definitely grow your channel. And I've also noticed that as I link to a related video from those shorts, usually my latest long form video, those videos will pick up a little bit of traffic as well. So it's not just the subscribers that you're getting, you're also getting a little bit more attention to your long form videos as well. And if your goal is eventually to get monetized on YouTube, you need some eyeballs on those long form videos to get those 4,000 hours of watch time that you need to get monetized. But by posting every day, I don't want to give the impression that I'm just trying to make a shot in the dark and then and just hope for all the views to come in. No, by posting every day, what you're actually doing to yourself is giving yourself opportunities to get better. You're making micro adjustments in the way that you present, in the way that you edit, in the way that you tell a story or cast a dream or whatever it is. By posting every day, what I'm saying is I'm committed to this task. I'm committed to seeing my channel grow and I'm going to do what it takes in order to see that happen. Now, if you post the exact same thing, and if you're not getting better every day, then honestly, you're wasting your time. Really, you need to be committed not just to the goal that you set for yourself, but to the process. For my channel, for example, I'm trying to get better at presenting. So my goal right now is to get better at telling a story or presenting information or even just holding a conversation. I, I say a lot of times I'm a normal, super boring guy, and that's totally true. I'm not always the best at talking with people. so. Part of what I'm trying to do here with this channel is teach myself in order to uh, have a good conversation with people. That sounds so pathetic, but it's true. It's honest. And if I'm going to be honest, part of what a lot of people do with their YouTube channels is grow, not, not just grow a business, not just grow financially, but grow as a person. One of the coolest things that I've heard over the years from various people, various YouTubers, and you've probably heard the same kind of thing too, is that as they started a YouTube channel or as they started, you know, a business with their YouTube channel involved, not just did their business grow, but they grew in their confidence. They, they grew in their ability to communicate, even just tell their own story. And, and that's grown them personally as their channel grew as well. And one of the coolest things to see on YouTube is not just people reaching their goals, but people growing as people. YouTube itself is so special in that it allows average, everyday, normal people like myself put ourselves out there and to say, I have this goal. Yes, the financial aspect is one of those goals, but also I wanna grow as a communicator. I wanna encourage other people to grow in their goals as well. I wanna help people. I wanna see other people meet their goals in terms of monetization, in terms of growing as a person, and ultimately in terms of helping other people grow in the same way. And I could be wrong, but I think by posting every day, I'm hopefully being able to do that a little bit faster. If you're just an average guy or girl and you've been hesitating to start a YouTube channel or really start uploading to your YouTube channel or TikTok, and you're worried about you know getting everything perfect or how it's gonna be received, I, I just encourage you to get started because unless you get started, until you get started, you're not gonna see the improvement in yourself that you need to see in order to have that really significant growth. And people are really looking for you to grow. People really want you to grow. They don't just wanna see your progress in your channel, they wanna see the progress in you. This is what makes YouTube so special. It really is YouTube or, or MeTube. <laughs> it allows us to present ourselves in this format on the tube, <laughs> growing our channels, growing ourselves and growing with our communities. It's a really cool thing that we can communicate this way and share our lives this way. And if you've been wanting to start that journey, I just encourage you to get started because hey, if I can do it, you can do it too. I'm just an average guy.